Alright guys, so I'm currently in the hall bathroom and I am wearing the same thing as the last video if you haven't seen that then I'll link it there and you can go watch it. It was a great cleaning video and it had some hauls in there but like a haul, not really a haul but I showed y'all a few things and a lot of cleaning. Um, I talked about my business so anyways I'm gonna do some more cleaning in this video and I'm starting it the same day it's really about one o'clock in the morning but all I'm gonna include tonight is getting the laundry out folding it putting it up and then putting the clothes into the dryer and then I'll probably get them out in the morning yeah um we just ate McDonald's probably gonna pass out when I finally go to bed I don't know when I'm gonna go to bed it'll probably be a little while but I am wearing the same thing because I took a shower yesterday midday ish and I work from home thank the good lord so I'm sleeping in what I'm wearing and I'll have it on tomorrow too so judge me it's okay but anyways don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love cleaning videos and leave a comment down below of your least favorite thing to clean let me know mine is dishes but I've been keeping them 100% done like as I'm cooking and stuff like that I wash them then I put them in the dishwasher and then once the dishwasher gets a decent amount in there I start the dishwasher and then I'll take them out so that's been easy for me just staying on top of what is my least favorite thing so that's mine and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications to be notified every single time I post because if you don't then you might not see my videos because YouTube be playing games so yeah but anyways let's get to cleaning
Um, I let the water warm up because I like it warm. But first, I use... I'm going to cut it off really quick. First, I use this purifying pre-cleanse. And it's to remove makeup, remove dirt, remove toxins, and stuff on your skin that you don't even realize. Like, you think, oh, I don't see any dirt or anything. If I took cotton balls and showed y'all, and literally I just showered yesterday then and i haven't done anything um then you would be amazed but disgusted at the same time because if you're not following a skincare routine then i feel bad for your face i have been lacking with my skincare to be honest because my depression um which as y'all know if you've been watching me you know i do struggle so i've been trying to do better so like the last two days i think washed my skin i'm trying to get back into it to help my skin like it's brought these pimples to whiteheads like it works amazing i need to do it twice a day that's what you're supposed to do but i don't but once a day is better than none first thing is the pre-cleanse then the cleanser i rotate between this one which is the normal oily and acne prone one and then the one that's for mature sensitive and dry skin I rotate like yesterday I used the one for dry skin and then like if I'm exfoliating I'll typically use that one and then I'll use a palm affair rose which I mentioned in yesterday's video and I'm about done with this but I have another bottle on the way I never run out of this so yeah I'm starting on a new bottle of cleanser because I just ran out of the acne prone one that's what we're about to do <laughs> So you just like spray this, you can spray it however you wish. And you can remove it straight with water, a washcloth, like a wet washcloth, or use cotton balls and you can spray it right on cotton balls. That's what I do sometimes, but I'm just going to cleanse right after so I don't really need to see what comes off like what dirt comes off because i'm gonna cleanse anyway i highly recommend the pre-cleanse it's only 18 dollars and you only need like one spray i spray ti a tiny little bit on different sections of my face i don't do like a full squirt when i was doing that and then you massage it in and you can research about double cleanse i don't even know if y'all can hear me you can research about doing double cleansing it's amazing for your skin. So the pre-cleanse is gonna go deeper in there. And then plus it's gonna let the cleanser focus on cleaning the surface and then the top layers of the skin rather than going deep in there. Because you gotta think if there's dirt and um, just yucky stuff on your skin, then your cleanser is gonna have to get rid of that before it can actually cleanse, you know? So you need to do a pre-cleanse. has the measurements and it's recommended to do 0.75 I typically do between it's recommended at least 0.5 for your face I typically do between 0.5 and 0.75 and this is the magic worker like all of its magic but this is the most concentrated palmafera oil we have which is what our line is based around is palmafera oil so like the cleanser has palmafera oil in it like majority of the products have palmafera oil in it which is the product that has all the benefits that i've talked about in yes well not yesterday's video but the last video and i massage it it helps with fine lines wrinkles like clinically proven to diminish fine lines and wrinkles no matter how long they've been there okay. But we're, I'm going to keep using them once a day at least. Hopefully, I'll get into twice a day. 
I'm just not there yet. But I did twice a day, then I could really clear up my skin. And then in 60 days, we will see where my skin is at. The animals love the smell of the products, as you can tell. And then I just rub the extra on my hands. And that's literally all of my skincare routine. Super easy, three steps. It's about to turn into five, but they're serums, so they're just gonna help my skin even more. But all you need, like if you just want a basic skincare routine, then all you need are those three products. Super simple skincare routine, but if you're a little more bougie, then you can add in the other two products that are on the way to my house that I'll be adding into my routine that I'm super excited about. So, yeah, anyways, um, I haven't ate anything, so I'm about to eat and then clean. All right, so I cut on this. I moved this. No! Hey! I moved the candle down and just put it in the middle right here and put it on the coasters. Move the smile little thing over there. So that's what that looks like. And the living room. I mean, they play in here, so you know it's gonna get destroyed some. Couple toys, those have been moved. No. And I cleaned up my chair and put my computer case back there and then the stuff under there. So that's what I've done off camera. I'm sure, there's something else I've done, but yeah, so didn't film that. But we're gonna move on to the next thing. about the last clip being 100% blurry I decided to speed it up insanely fast because I did want to include it in the cleaning video because it was a good portion of the cleaning so I didn't finish the bathroom I was about out of storage and I literally barely had any time left so I went ahead and plugged it up to the computer 
edited every bit of footage. Then I was able to unplug the camera, delete all the footage, and keep going with the video. So all the footage up until the point you just seen has already been edited, so that may be up. I could really put it up tonight if I really, really wanted to, but then I'll have to worry about what am I going to film next, even though I really, there's a lot of cleaning I want to do, so I could just clean, 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 but I don't know. I'll probably wait, so I'm super proud of myself for doing that. It feels incredible outside, so I'm outside right now with the animals. It is so nice. The sun's not beaming down. It is currently 455. And I figured out why the last part was completely blurry and on the camera I thought when I held down the record button if you hold it down it would focus but apparently when you hold it down then I guess I don't know like what it mean but it's blurry every time I do that I just tested it out so I don't need to do that. So let me know in the comments how y'all are liking the cleaning videos. They're my favorite to watch and my favorite to film, to be honest, because y'all motivate me to beat depression, to beat just the battles that I face. Y'all motivate me to get up, clean, do things. And I will always let y'all know that because y'all motivate me so much. Like YouTube has helped me so much with my mental health so much like i still struggle it's a daily struggle but i'm doing so much better than i was like a year ago so much better and i'm the wife that i wanted to be i'm not 100 percent perfect i could be doing better we all can do better but i am so much happier with the woman i am today than the person i was a year ago but i do know that mental health isn't something that we can really help even though i'm a strong believer that we can take control of it and we can beat it on our own and that's what i've been doing i take no medication as y'all know i used to take medication and yeah it's just no i'm just doing better y'all motivate me y'all make me feel good about myself my skin has had me down which has made me even more unmotivated to do things and to film and to get out of the house and stuff it become comes just like a circle of bad things basically because if i let my skin get the best of me and it gets me more depressed and i don't film then i'm not doing what i love to do which is going to make me more depressed and then make going to make me even more so not want to film or clean my face and it's just going to be a circle of just bad things and it's just not uh the rabbit hole i want to go down so i'm just gonna film rock my skin acne does not define you at all um stretch marks do not define you cellulite does not define you none of that defines you i know i have a good heart i know my intentions on youtube i know how much i love doing that because let's be real it definitely is not for the money honey it's straight up passion so i know that and i know i'll find my people and people who want to hate on people for acne stretch marks, cellulite, anything else. I know I'm missing a whole lot of stuff. There's an issue within themselves and that's why they're judging you and bullying you. So I do know that, but it is hard to get on camera for potentially thousands and millions of people to see, but that's 100% okay because five years from now, I'm gonna look back and be proud of myself for doing this right here, right now shoot even six months or a year from now i'm gonna be so proud of myself and i know that this skin is just temporary and i'm gonna do better about taking care of myself inside and out my diet is terrible 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 so that on top of me not drinking water like i should and well, liquids in general like i should and not taking care of my skin it's just all just not good it's a little bit of a rant but it feels incredible out here so i'm gonna enjoy some time outside with the babies let them enjoy the sun nature and all that good stuff so anyways we'll get back to cleaning in a second so i haven't had this in a while and i don't know why i haven't gotten it out of the pantry but in my water i put raspberry lemonade sustain which is this and if you look in my description then it says one stop shop and it's like non-toxic products and all that that's where this is from it is incredible literally tastes like raspberry lemonade and i haven't had it in a while probably because um all i do is sit around but um well all i was doing before because of my depression was sit around 
but it helps with hydration, endurance, and it's low calorie. It includes four electrolytes, vitamin C, E, and B12. So now we're gonna go on with cleaning. I really wanted something to drink and I wanted something different than just plain water. So I was like, oh yeah, I have that. So let's drink that. So hopefully that'll help me drink this. I know it'll help. I just have to remember to drink. I need a little timer that goes off every little bit. That's like, drink something, drink something, drink something. So hopefully we'll drink some stuff. And uh, my goal is to finish this within a few hours. So we're gonna go ahead and do laundry. my sister's baby that she had because they come home from the hospital today i didn't get to finish my laundry and it's storming right now so i'm gonna go ahead and fold up the stuff out of the dryer but the stuff in the washer i'm not gonna be able to put in the dryer well i can go ahead and put it in the dryer but i can't start it until it stops lightning and thundering so well i could but that's not very smart so we're not gonna do that cubby wants to go out and it's literally like a downpour Y'all are not gonna wanna go out there. Like, I don't even think that does it justice, but it's pouring down. I'm gonna do that. So, let's get to cleaning. Crazy how I see you so clear And how you make me smile And how you make me smile, oh yeah And how you make me smile, oh baby How you make me smile Smile more when I see you Smile less when I miss you No, I don't wanna be left alone 